Hey there, and welcome back to My Opinion On. In this week's episode, we are going to talk about smoking and drinking. So let's just hop right into it. So I've always been the kind of guy that was just like, if you are happy with doing something and you don't hurt other people, it's okay to do it. And I think that kind of applies to smoking and drinking too. So if you're happy to smoke, just do it. Why not? If you're happy to drink, just do it. Why not? But there's always this, you know, other side where you can probably hurt people. You know, with smoking, if you smoke while you're pregnant, you can hurt the unborn child. Or if you are smoking while your wife or girlfriend is pregnant, you could probably hurt that child too. So you shouldn't do it. And... You know, if you are smoking in a area where other people are, you can hurt them too. Just because the stuff you're breathing out while you smoke is, you know, is toxic too. So you shouldn't smoke around people that don't want to get hurt by it. That's just some, you know, it's the polite thing to do here. And don't give me that crap that smoking is just, you know, hurtful for the person that does it. That's just bullshit. It actually hurts other people too, so if you are happy with your decision, just go with it, but don't hurt other people, and that's the thing. And that's the same thing about, you know, drinking. If you are drinking, that's fine. You can drink a lot. You can drink yourself to death. It's, you know, it's a stupid thing to do, but you can do it. That's okay. It's your life. It's your decision. But if you drink and get into a car, for example and you know you could run over a whole class of school children or something like that <laughs> it's just horrible so you know as long as you don't hurt other people with drinking it's probably okay too and I actually get the point why people want to drink alcohol it's just you know it makes you lose your inhibitions a little bit and you get a little bit more I don't know happy and open so if you're around other people drinking can probably help you a little bit with getting in touch with new people and maybe if you are a a guy, it could probably help you get together with a girl because if the girl is a little bit tipsy and <laughs> you are a little bit tipsy, you know, it's easier to get in touch and she will probably think that your jokes are more funny and you will think that you are more funny and you just gain a little bit more confidence. So that's actually a good thing about drinking, you know, it's just... Yeah, that's that's the thing about drinking that I can understand why people do it. Just because it makes social interactivity kind of more easy. So if you want to drink because of that, it's okay. But I never got why people just, you know, get wasted like hell. It's, I don't know, if you drink 10 liters of beer, I know that's impossible, but you get my point, I hope. So if you want to just drink yourself into oblivion, I don't know why I would do that. It's just pointless. There is absolutely no point into drinking yourself into oblivion. And, you know, it's bad for your pockets too. Ah, uh, that came out wrong. For your... You know, it's bad for the money. <laughs> it's just drinking is so expensive. I don't know how expensive it is if you do it on a regular basis, but I think it is more expensive than just drinking water, for example. And, you know, building up confidence could be done by other means than drinking alcohol. And, yeah, if we're back to smoking, I never really got the point of that. You know, I know it can relax you a little bit and stuff like that, but... It just harms your lungs and it's very, very expensive. I don't know about other countries, but in Germany smoking is very expensive. A pack with, I think, 16 cigarettes is about 5 to 6 euros, so that's one hell of a lot of money. And I don't know, it's just pointless to do it. You just breathe in those toxic chemicals and... Yeah, that's it. It relaxes you maybe a little bit, but the longer you smoke, the more you have to smoke in order to get the same relaxation. And I just think you get addicted to it and you kind of get used to it, but there is absolutely no point in doing it. And it's not even like, you know, a couple of years ago, a couple of decades ago, it was cool to smoke. It was the social accepted thing to do. Society said, okay, you're smoking, that's cool, you're looking good. <laughs> I don't know, but today it's just, I don't know, I don't think it's cool anymore. So there's absolutely no point in doing it. And that's maybe the same thing for drinking. Okay, drinking is still cool, I think, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm way too old to be in that age group anymore where drinking or smoking is cool. 
So, yeah, that's my opinion on drinking and smoking. So, what do you think about drinking and smoking and excessive drinking? Excessive smoking, probably? I don't know. What do you think about it? Just leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, just give it a rating. And subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And that was all I wanted to say for my opinion on this week. Hope to see you next week. I'm Lost Link, signing out.